in this video, I'm going to be filming, uh, talk about shoes because I didn't used to be a shoes person and I went shopping yesterday and spent $100 on shoes. So, I'm going to be talking about just shoes and all the shoes I've owned and how I've changed in buying shoes. So, my parents used to buy my shoes when I was little, so I just bought whatever they liked and I didn't care because obviously I was little. But in 8th grade, I went shopping and I got this pair of shoes. Look how disgusting they are. The bottoms of them. They're just absolutely disgusting. I mixed matched the laces. The insides of them are completely worn down and disgusting. And I wore these shoes from 8th grade until my first year of college. So that's 6 years of wearing the exact same pair of shoes. But... Within that time, I don't know, I wanted to switch it up a little bit, so I'd wear clogs, just it's just a normal pair of clogs. So I would just wear these. I think I wore the light pair for a long time, but then freshman year in college, I ended up getting a uh, light pair. Those were like my shoes. During the summer, I didn't want to wear heavy shoes, and I didn't like flip-flops. I used to love flip-flops, but then they just made them like really thin, and I just couldn't take them. So I would only wear these, this little slide-on ones. So these are the shoes, only sandals that I wear, but I no longer wear these. I only wear the uh, shoes that I'm going to show you, but I don't wear these anymore. And then I finally gave in the at the end of my freshman year of college from my shoes from 8th grade. So I s bought a pair of these, some DCs, and they're just high top DCs. And I wear them like this, I don't tie them, they're just loose on my feet but now I find these uncomfortable and I usually only wear these when it's raining or there's puddles outside because I don't want to wear ruin my shoes that I haven't shown you yet so I usually just wear these when it's gross out so I do no longer wear skater or high top shoes like my eighth grade pair and these pair also throughout high school I was a cheerleader so obviously I had to have shoes for cheer which Hated every second of wearing these shoes. So, these were my freshman to junior year shoes. And I also wore these my senior year. But we were not allowed to wear them at competition. We had to wear this pair of shoes, which are very uncomfortable on my feet. They're too tight on my feet, so I could not wear these. So, I wore these to all practices and to every game, even though we weren't supposed to. I just wore these. They just have just white with a blue Nike symbol. We had to do blue and red for school, so one shoe was blue, one shoe was red. We had to had to buy these my senior year, and they're just like tight shoes, and they hurt my feet. And I wore these at competition, and they have the Nike symbol on the side again with the blue swish. So I had to wear these. I could not wear these, so I have these shoes, but I will never wear them ever in my life. In March of this year, it was right before I was going to meet. Cameron Dallas and Nash Greer and Taylor Kniff and the Jacks and Aaron Carpenter and Carter and all those guys and I'm like all right they wear Vans Vans are cool I think they look sick and I should probably get a pair of Vans I didn't think they were going to be comfortable but I went shopping with my mom one day and I ended up loving Vans some things in my eye some things in my eye huh <laughs> stroke in my eyeball. <laughs> I ended up loving Vans, so I bought myself a pair, and then in return my mom bought me a pair. So I went shopping, and I got a blue pair. They're just these. And I got a black pair, because everyone needs a black pair, because frankly, blue does not go with everything. So I got a black pair. Yesterday, I went shopping, well, technically I didn't want to buy anything, but I was walking around and I'm like, all right, here's the shoe store. I'm going in, I'm diving in. And of course I didn't go to any other section, but the van section because now I only wear vans and I saw two pairs that I wanted really bad. So I spent a hundred dollars on a, two pairs of vans. So I ended up getting this pair because the color, this camera does not do it justice. But it's the most fluorescent pink in the... It's the most fluorescent pink in the entire world. It looks orange in the camera, but it's so pink. And the bottom is the exact same color. And I'm like, these are dope. I have to get them because the color is just sick. And like, 
it's like a gray blue jean color for like the shoe but I had to go for that bright pink because why not and I also seen this gray pair with pink like insides and pink bottom even though I hate the color pink I love this gray color and I'm like I can match that with so much stuff that I wear so I got a gray pink pair because I just was like I need these in my life so now I have four pairs of shoes to wear instead of two or throughout high school one <laughs> I don't know what changed me but I'm pretty sure it was all the MadCon 26 management no named tour guys and I thank them every day because now I get to wear cool shoes instead of looking like a homeless person. So, I hope you enjoyed this video with me talking about my shoe life. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I don't know why you'd give a thumbs up about shoes, but yeah. Comment down below what your favorite brand of shoes is. Obviously, mine now is Vans, but it used to be DC's. Hence why I wore my DC shirt, because they used to be my favorite shoes. I'm like, this is a perfect fit. But now my favorite pair of shoe brand, shoe brand, brand shoe, is Vans. So comment down below what your favorite shoe store is, or shoe brand. Also, all my social media links are in the down bar below, as well as my last video. So if you want to check those out, you can click down there, and it will take you directly to the links. That is the end of this video, so... It's time. Something you all wait for at the end of every one of my videos if you stick around. My signature. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Oh, I'm about to